Hello everyone. I am Zahid Abbas. Welcome to my YouTube channel Mathulis. In this video we are going to learn about domain and range of sine function with the help of the unit circle and the graph. This is the second video of the series in which we are trying to learn about domain and range of trigonometric functions. The link of the first video is here. Let's start learning about the unit circle and how the sine function is represented by a representative line on the unit circle. Here is the horizontal axis called as x axis and it is the vertical axis called as the y axis. And both the axes meet at a point called as the origin. Let's draw a circle whose center is at the origin. And it is the radius of the circle that makes an angle theta with the x-axis. It is equal to one unit in length. It touches the circle at point P whose coordinates are x and y. These two horizontal vectors represent x coordinate of point P. And these two vertical vectors represent y coordinate of point P. Let's move this figure to a little bit on the left side so we can write something on the right side. We know base over hypotenuse is equal to cos of theta and perpendicular over hypotenuse is equal to sine of theta. In this case base is x, perpendicular is y and hypotenuse is 1. So x by 1 is cos of theta and so x is equal to cos of theta. Similarly, y by 1 is equal to sine of theta and so y is equal to sine theta. These two horizontal lines which are actually the x coordinate of point P represent cosine function. And these two vertical lines which are actually the y coordinate of point P represent sine function. And here comes the graph of the sine function. It's the set of the rectangular axes. Grade some points on the positive x-axis as 0 degree, 90 degrees, 180 degrees and 270 degrees. Grade some points on the negative x-axis as negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees and negative 270 degrees. Grade some points on the positive x-axis as 0 0.5 and 1. Similarly, grade some points on the negative y-axis as negative 0 0.5 and negative 1. And this is how the graph of the sine function looks like that. It goes and goes right and never stops. That is, it approaches positive infinity towards the right. It goes and goes left and never stops. That is, it approaches negative infinity towards left. It goes upward to a maximum value equal to positive 1. And it goes downwards to a minimum value equal to negative 1. Let's study about domain and range of sine function with the help of the unit circle and the graph of the sine function simultaneously. Here is the horizontal axis. Grade some points on the horizontal axis as 0 degree, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees. Then draw a circle. Start it from 0 degree to 90 degrees to 180 degrees to 270 degrees and it ends at 360 degrees and it is the radius of the circle consider it equal to one unit in length 
नो इफ वी रोटेट दिस रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल अबाउट द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल देन द ग्राफ ऑफ द साइन फंक्शन इज जनरेटेड सम हाउ लाइक दैट we can rotate the radius of the circle for the angles greater than 360 degrees as well we can also rotate the radius of the circle in the clockwise direction in this case the graph of the sine function goes left have a look at this figure in this figure the radius of the circle makes an angle 0 degree with the x axis if we change the angle from 0 degree to 15 degrees there appear two vertical green lines these two vertical green lines give the value of sine of 15 degrees now if we increase the angle from 15 degrees to 30 degrees the value of the sine is also increased if we increase the angle further the value of the sine function is increased further and when we make the angle equal to 90 degrees the value of the sine function becomes equal to radius of unit circle that is it becomes equal to 1 now if we increase the angle further from 90 degrees the value of the sine function is not increased further but it is decreased and by increasing angle further the value of the sine is decreased and when we make the angle equal to 180 degrees the value of sine is reduced to 0 now if we increase the angle further from 180 degrees the green lines appear again but this time these green lines are headed toward negative y axis that is these green lines give negative value of sine function it means the value of sine function is decreased further so if we increase the angle further the value of sine is decreased further and when angle becomes equal to 270 degrees the value of the sine function becomes equal to negative 1 now if we increase the angle from 270 degrees the value of the sine function start increasing again and it becomes equal to 0 when we make the angle equal to 360 degrees as uh, we have studied already as we have learned already that the sine graph goes right and never stops that is it approaches positive infinity towards right it also goes left and never stops that is it approaches negative infinity towards left it states the domain of the sine function that is domain of the sine function is the set of all real numbers between negative infinity and positive infinity that is the argument of the sine function can have any real value between negative infinity and positive infinity note that the maximum height that the sine function attains is 1 and the maximum depth that the sine function attains is negative 1 it states the range of the sine function that is range of the sine function is the set of all real numbers from negative 1 to positive 1 so sine function can have any real value from negative 1 to 1 summary domain of the sine function is the set of all real numbers between negative infinity and infinity that is the sine function can have any real value as its argument
नंबर टू रेंज ऑफ द साइन फंक्शन इज द सेट ऑफ ऑल रियल नंबर फ्रॉम नेगेटिव वन टू वन दैट इज द साइन फंक्शन कैन नॉट हैव एनी वैल्यू दैट इज लेस देन नेगेटिव वन और ग्रेटर देन वन and this is the end of this video thank you for being with me see you soon with the next video stay happy goodbye